my name is Avishek and welcome back to MBPS Treasure Channel. Today we are going to read about the action potential of a neuronal tissue or a neural cells. In the previous video, I have said about the excitation of a tissue uh, and under that I have explained about the excitation, what are the conditions for the excitations, what are the tissue that are excitable and uh, what should be the amount of stimulus that should be given for causing an excitation. If you haven't watched that video, please go to my playlist and watch that previous video to understand this action potential of neuron in a better way. So today we are going to read about the action potential of a neuron. What do you mean by neuron? Neuron is the smallest unit structure or functional unit system of our nervous system that is responsible for generating an action potential and transmitting the action potential through its actions through which we get the informations and it get transmitted through all of our body okay so this is a normal structure of a neuron that we all know and this is the cell body of a neuron and these are the dendrites for receiving the coming information or in the form of chemical impulses and then this is the structure this is the structure which is known as axon this helps in transmission of the information and finally there is a synaptic nerve which transmit the information to another neuron okay in between the axons it, it contains some fatty tissues like myelin cell we know all these things okay basically we are going to learn that how the action potential is generated inside our neuron cells and how it is getting transmitted and its graph the graph is also important to learn the basic concepts of action potential so now we know the conditions or the structure of a particular neuron this neuron physiologically it is present in a resting condition what do you mean by resting condition resting means it is not generating any kind of action potential and it means inside it it has negative charges and outside it it has positive charges okay and this negative and positive charges is due to sodium is to potassium ratio that is 3 is to 2 ratio this means that 3 sodium will be coming out of the cell and 2 potassium ions will be getting in into the cell by sodium and potassium pump this pump it acts as an active transporter of sodium and potassium ions so it is an active transport takes place there is an active transportation takes place of sodium and potassium maintaining the resting condition of a excitable tissue or an excitable cells that we have studied earlier so now we know the cell or the neuron is present in a resting membrane potential what happens when an excitation comes to the neuron when the excitation comes to the neuron, these are the synaptic nerve of a previous nerve that is already excited and, it's, and it is transmitting the information to the next neuron. How the information get transmitted from one neuron to another neuron. So this is the structure of a synaptic nerve. Inside the synaptic nerve, it has special vesicles like structure that will be having the neurotransmitters within it. The neurotransmitters these blue dot structures are nothing but the neurotransmitters. Okay, these neurotransmitters act as the agent for generating the chemical impulse. Okay, here it generates a chemical impulse within the synapse. This is a presynaptic nerve and this is a postsynaptic nerve and the space present between the two of the synapse or to the previous axonic or synaptic nerve and the post the dendrite this region is known as synapse okay the previous neuron releases 
the neurotransmitter in the synapse region and the dendrites have the certain kind of receptors these are nothing but ligand gated receptors these are ligand gated receptors what do they do they the neurotransmitters attaches to this the neurotransmitters attaches to this ligand gated receptors and opens a channel it opens a channel for influx of sodium chlorine ions okay when the influx of sodium and potassium or sodium and sorry so when there will be influx of sodium and chloride ion what will happen the membrane potential or the potential before it had negative inside and due to the opening of the channel and sodium coming in or influx of sodium leads to change in the polarization of the dendrites and it will be becoming inside positive and outside negative okay so this is how the dendrites get activated or dendrites get stimulated through this excitation and from the polarized it becomes depolarized conditions okay when there will be net positive ion charges inside the neuron will exceed the membrane potential critical level or threshold level of membrane potential then the axon halo the axon halo or this region of the neuron is known as axon halo this region axon halo will transmit the impulses here the chemical impulses is transmitted in the form of electrical impulses and this impulses when will be greater than the threshold energy of minimum strength of force of energy then it will be transmitted through the axon to its synaptic end here in the axon halo there will be generation of axon potential and it will be transmitted to the axon to nodes of ranbier in a jumping way okay how this occurs actually so we will go and brief uh, we will have a brief study about this in a other diagram okay let's see listen in this this is a condition in which the already the dendrite is excited it means the dendrite is already depolarized when the neurotransmitters attaches the receptors that resulting in opening of the sodium gated ligand channel and influx of sodium and chloride ion that will be making a resultant inside of the dendrites as positively charged and converting from polarized to depolarization okay what happens next is that before before transmission of impulses these were negatively charged okay here the information is not transmitted yet but it needs to be transmitted through the axon how it occurs when the depolarization reaches at the level of critical level of depolarization or the threshold level of depolarization when it reaches the critical level of depolarization or threshold level of depolarization in the axon halo then it creates an axon potential what do you mean by axon potential that it suddenly increases or it rapidly opens the sodium gated voltage channel so that it becomes positively charged inside of the membrane or inside of this or the cytoplasm of the axon becomes insidely positively charged through the influx of rapid influx of sodium ions that were present outside of the axonic membrane and with the same way 
outflux of potassium ions that is the reason why the inside becomes positively charged and outside becomes negatively charged okay outside becomes negatively charged so through so this way the uh, information uh, in the form of electrical impulse get transmitted from the dendrites then to the cell body then to the axon hillock where the sudden increase in the action potential or generation of action potential that push the information through the axon to the next synaptic nerve okay then i am going to say you uh, a most important thing about the sodium gated channel that are present in the membranes of the uh, neurons like there are three kinds of phases of sodium gated channel first one is closed phase then the open phase and then the inactive phase when this phase actually occurs when this when there will be when the cell is or the excitable cell is in a rest condition then inside the cell it has negative charge and outside the cell it is positive charged and at that moment the sodium gated channel will be at the closed state so that the sodium cannot further enter into the cell okay then comes the open state when the cell get excited or when the cell gets transformed from polarized to depolarized state then the channel gets opened it means the sodium influx takes place through this sodium gated channel when the cell get excited then what happens at the post excited state in the post excited state in the open state there will be positive charges inside making the cell as depolarized in the next step what happens the accumulation of positive charge inside the cell is so much that it compels the receptor or it compels the sodium gated channel to block it from inside it has a blocker from inside that doesn't allows the further incoming of sodium channel into the cell that condition or that state is known as the inactive state of sodium gated channel and when to this occurs this occurs when there will be much higher positive charge potential inside the cell membrane at that condition this blocker blocks the further incoming of the sodium ions okay